What's up guys, Harker Hector here with a quick guide on how to get through the Xanarkin, Cloister of Trials, and Final Fantasy X. This is probably the simplest of all the trials in the game. All you need to do is interact with the display at the north wall to light up a bunch of squares, making colored shapes. Make note of the position of the shapes and the location of the white dot within the shapes. Step on the white dots on the tile floor to light up the same colored shapes that appeared when you interacted with the display. If you step on the wrong one, the colored shapes will reset and you'll have to start over again. This is the solution to the first puzzle in this first room. After completing the first puzzle, six pedestals will come out from behind the left and right walls. You can interact with four of these pedestals to reveal the same sort of puzzle in the second room. Let's start with the top left pedestal in this puzzle. Remember, interact with the display on the north wall to see which squares you have to step on and which colored shapes you have to make. The solution to the first puzzle is this. After solving the puzzle, one of the six glyphs will light up in the center of the room. Return to the first room and interact with the bottom left pedestal next. This will give you a different puzzle in the second room. Like before, interact with the display on the north wall to see the solution to the puzzle. Just like before, another glyph will light up in the center of the room once you complete the puzzle. Return to the first room again, and this time interact with the top right pedestal. Interact with the display on the north wall to see the following solution to the puzzle. Like all the other times, another glyph will light up in the center of the room once you complete the puzzle. Return to the first room and interact with the bottom right pedestal to reveal the fourth and final puzzle 
in the second room. This time is no different than the others, so I'll interact with the display on the north wall to reveal the solution to this fourth puzzle. A fourth glyph will light up in the center of the room once you complete this last puzzle. But that's not the end of the trials. Go back to the display on the north wall and interact with the left sphere, which is the Kilka sphere. Take it and place it in the middle left pedestal back in the first room. This will light up a fifth glyph in the center of the second room. Return to the display on the second room and take the sphere on the right. This is the beset sphere. Take it and place it in the middle right pedestal in the first room. And that's how you complete the Xenarchan Cloister Trials in Final Fantasy X. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get the secret item until later on in the game. I'll explain how to do that in the Beige Cloister Trials video guide. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more strategy guides like this, gameplay commentary, and gaming vlogs, because more will be coming in the future.